Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to do another flip cup art piece today. I wanted to go over my colors this time since I didn't have them set up properly. I have, these are just regular colors, no metallic. We have Brilliant Blue, Shamrock Green, and Purple Pansy. I mixed some regular white with some metallic white. And then our metallic colors are Sapphire, Blue Lagoon, and Antique Gold. And I have them all mixed up here. They all are mixed with Floetrol, and I put silicone in the white, the gold, and I believe the teal color. The teal color that I made is a mix of the sapphire and the blue lagoon. I wanted to get a little darker. All right. Okay, I got my paint put away, and now I'm going to pull my flip cup because it's already seeping out, so here we go. Let me turn off my overhead light for a minute so you can see the colors. Got pretty, pretty colors. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a minute, let this set up, and then I'll start tilting. Okay, the last video I didn't show the tilting process. I don't have a rig for my camera, it's just my phone. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed and kind of show you, it's literally just like it sounds, you just tilt. You start going toward the corners, and you can spread out the cells however you want to. If you like a particular part, then you want to try to spread that out and keep it and then if there's any colors that you're not particularly happy with or the way it mixed then you can let it slough off the side okay i need both hands so i'm going to put you guys down for a second hold on okay so as i was tilting it looks like i didn't get quite enough paint for my canvas so i'm going to be incorporating Another technique for this, which is called a dirty pour, where you basically just pour the paint right onto the canvas. I'm not exactly sure how much, how many cells we're really going to get with this, but we're going to give it a shot. So I have mixed up my colors in there. Same colors, different patterns. And then on my blank areas, I'm just going to simply pour. my extra paint and now I'm gonna do some more tilting so let's see if I can do a little of this one-handed trying to get that corner go 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 okay come on there we go, it's slowly falling. It starts to fall really slowly and then it goes really fast. I can't get any paint to move on this end. I gotta put you guys down again, hold on. Okay, I got all my sides and corners covered. See all the little pieces all around is covered. All right, let's see if I can turn off my overhead and zoom in. There's some reflection going on. You can see that on my wall. Oh, you can't see it. There's reflection bouncing off the painting onto my wall around me. Got some really cool cells going on. Very cool. Turn on my overhead. Very, very cool. All right, now this one just gets to sit and dry for another four days as well. 
The drying process is the longest part. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Show you some more close-ups. Those cells just now popped up. How cool. Now, when I refer to cells in these paintings, it's the chemical reaction between the paint and Floetrol mix. And Floetrol is just a paint conditioner, basically, and it makes it flow better and uh, makes the paint move better. And the chemical reactions that are happening with this liquid silicone, it's actually a treadmill lubricant. You just put a few drops into each color. And you don't really do a lot of mixing once you add the silicone into the paint. You want it to start doing its own little reactions. And see, with every pass over this painting, new things are happening. This is a very cool technique I found by just searching YouTube for new stuff to do. I love it. I'm so excited to see how these turn out whenever they dry. They take a long time to dry, four to six days before you can put a high gloss coat on it. And this is what was recommended in the videos. It's supposed to dry like a resin, so it will be super shiny and very cool. Well, thank you again for watching. I know I ramble, so I'm sorry, but I wanted you guys to see the process and how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.